Don't worry about how people accept it. The message is going to land where it's supposed to land. Amen. And you cannot decide, you can't really determine where that message is going to land. Some of my biggest um, fans are people that I didn't even know I touched. And I'll share one more example with you. I was on a cruise ship, uh, Panama Canal cruise. I spoke on board ship. There was about 60 people on board ship. We got back to Alcapoco to fly back to the United States after the cruise. A lady walked up to me. She said, I was in your audience on board ship. She said, you probably don't remember me. She said, I hope you don't mind second place. She said, going through the locks of the Panama Canal were my biggest thrill on this ship, on this cruise. She said, your presentation was number two. She said, I'm a breast cancer survivor and I'm a lung cancer survivor. And what she said really started me to think and encourage me. Think of breast cancer, lung cancer. I didn't even say take two aspirin and call me in the morning. I, I know nothing about any of that except that they're debilitating diseases. I didn't mention them. I have no medical degree. So I'm asking God, what did I say? How did I impact this lady? Les Brown said something that I, I have to keep in mind. He said, how you do it is not sometimes none of your business. Just do what you do so well that, as I said, all the hosts of heaven will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So whatever you're doing, whatever business you're in, whatever obstacles you face, what I suggest is to keep the faith. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Henry. And next up, we'll have our very own.